try talking now. Hello, hello. Perfect. I'm talking about things. Oh god. Oh god. We're playing this video <laughs> game. Yeah. This Uh-oh. is this is a thing that's happening. Live and on the air for real. Uh, let me text this dude my address. <laughs> All right, I can hear myself coming. God, I should not sing. That's terrible. You can hear my yourself what coming through your computer? Yeah, through the um, through the stream. Oh, okay. <laughs> People are already like, "God help us all!" <laughs> no, Ben. No. Our other. Our, uh, Zav, when you were talking before, all these people are playing Watch Dogs and Mario Kart. Were you referring to just the joystick crew or Twitch? Oh, the people on staff. Oh, like, all right. I, um, I was going to say, if we can finally stream uh, Mario Kart, then I am going to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that didn't sound. I didn't know. Weird. I had no idea where that yeah. sentence was going. I, it was. It was gonna go towards indignance, but I. I just <laughs> got rid of it. It's no indignance. I cut it right out. Is that? I mean, like, is I'm assuming in that screenshot it's White Queen. That's that's supposed to be Emma Frost, right? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Because I'm, I'm over here right now. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm over here. Can you hear me? Is White Queen like? Is she... Are those clothes? <laughs> um, no. That does not seem like clothes. Although, her superpower... Even... Her superpower seems to be gravity. <laughs> as far as I can tell. You know, I... I like, in the hands... I, I By the end of this podcast, it's going to be revealed just how much of a comics dork I am. You've already lost it because you're referring to this as a podcast. <laughs> go, yeah, see, there you go. Uh, by the end of this this live thing, this thing that we're doing? <laughs> Certainly a thing. By, by the end of this live... <laughs> Yodel, she just came from the club. She's always just coming from the club. In the hands of the right writer, Emma Frost is a great character. She, just, she can be written. She just, in, in her mind, she's just constantly hearing... <laughs> <laughs> I would like everyone to know that when you see photos of E3, I am going to be wearing that Emma Frost costume. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. Yeah. I thought they said no more booth babes. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. I'm going to be a babe for every booth. Bam. I'm just going to lay that down on the line. P please, sir. No, he does not represent our video game. <laughs> this is a simple match three. We don't know why he's here. <laughs> it's just... I'm going to be dressed like White Queen in the middle of Activision's booth. Who wants to take a picture? <laughs> right here. Yeah, Susan, that's a really good question. What's with the collar? All right, hold on. It's holding up um, her <laughs> dignity, I think. <laughs> Let me get my... All right, I'm trying to actually now find a picture of the most absurd white queen outfit. There right. we go. Oh, are you dropping into the chat? See, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm missing out. I can't see the <laughs> chat. I'm going to have to open up Twitch chat here. Explain. I've just popped in a link, everyone. Explain that outfit for me, please. Actually, Explain to me how, the, how, 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 how does she even get into that? I have no idea. I, how come I can't just look at chat alone? Come on, Twitch app. How do I just look at chat stuffs? Mm. Yeah, it is. That is an explicit outfit. <laughs> uh, I just saw someone say something in chat that made me laugh. <laughs> that I don't. That I don't want to repeat. Biz business at the top, party at the bottom. <laughs> um, should I? I'm gonna launch the game though, just so we can test the audio for the game. Yeah, let's 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 see how this goes. I I am going to just wait, say, wait. Before uh, we do anything, let me just do this. 
<sighs> All right. <laughs> now that I've effectively <laughs> sighed my way. This is going to be my first time ever seeing X-Men Destiny in Oh, well, in you motion. are in for a treat. I'm ready. I am like, I am ready for Freddy. I am ready to, to, re ready to witness all of this and all of its sullen glory. <laughs> um... It really did feel like at the end there, like whenever Silicon Knights put something out, that they were like, they were just like, fine, here's a game, fine. Why is here's it... two human, whatever. Oh, that was weird. For some reason, the Elgato just like lost its mind and reset itself. I think it knew oh, that I was odd. playing this game. <laughs> but um, no. the game appears to be playing. So we could just talk over this, uh, this cutscene, probably. When it begins, there we go. So there's some dialogue in here. The funny thing is, is I'm not going to be able to hear any of this because <laughs> if I turn the volume up on my television, it'll get captured on my it'll, yeah, it'll get on my it'll microphone. Get noisy. Like my setup is great. If you'd never want to do a very professional stream, <laughs> but I mean, we're playing X Men Destiny, so how professional can we get, really? Yeah, it's it's X Men Destiny. What is happening? What is with like? There's a guy kneeling in front of some corn. I, why? What is happening to these farmers? I, I don't know. I think this is what they call drama. We X Men right, will work you know with local and national authorities to keep the peace. So, um, I, I just don't. I don't. And the Brotherhood of Mutants will protect its own. I'm going to bring in an expert. Um, let us know how the sound cause how the sound is for me and Anthony. I did pod the sound in the game down. You should be able to hear talking, I think. All right. Oh, Susan. Susan R. Can you please tell me what the hell's going on with that farmer? I can. I can, actually. So what's happening is all over the world, all these natural disasters are happening. Earthquakes, The release of this video game, yes. The release of this video game. Cats and dogs living together. Um, and uh, the mutants are all fighting each other. And most of them, like all the people that you would want to be playing a game with, uh, are missing or dead or presumed dead. So all the cool X-Men are elsewhere or croaked. Uh, so this is actually kind of the perfect game to, for Days of Future Past since that's why we're playing X-Men Destiny. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, but the whole thing is all these natural disasters, all the normies are thinking it has something to do with mutants so they are like f mutants this is bad y'all are ruining our world can somebody explain to me why like you know what i understand that the premise of the comics is we need people to hate the x-men but why do people like the fantastic four and hate the x-men because the fantastic four was an accident and the x-men are genetic creatures genetic mutants Okay. That, yeah, so, Fantastic but, Four are mutates versus mutants. Yes. So, we, I, and, and mutate uh, is is when something happens to you, a la Spider Man. All right, you know, and, and now when I a boy mutate and a girl mutate love each other very much. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, you and I were movies. talking before about those like CG reenactments of the news from yes. Singapore, yeah. and now it seems that that's happening. Yeah. With the X-Men. Okay, so here's what here's the bad part of your player character. So <laughs> here's the bad part. Well, okay. <laughs> Why is Zav playing as a stripper? I would like to call upon Simon. From Montreal. Why is she from Montreal? <laughs> ah, I don't know. <laughs> because of the scarf? Is that the scarf? Yeah. In Canada? It's a little chilly. Here's what's great. <laughs> she keeps the scarf the no matter what outfit she has on. <laughs> But it's different color scarves. Oh no! It's it's amazing. It's just, okay. So anyway, so you come into your mutant powers on on into this world where everybody's hunting down new mutants. Like you just discover your powers, and it's like, oh crap! Time we remember that we're now. That's why everybody is out to get you. And you don't know how to do anything yet because you, you're just coming into your powers like right this second. I I don't want to like I don't want to get too metatextual here. Oh my god, like, why is this giant football player just strutting around? With a football! Uh, with a football. that's what they do! <laughs> All the time! Oh, so, okay, wait, we are about to see something amazing. Look at the eyes of the non-playable characters 
on the start screen that's coming up in a second. Everyone looks shocked. <laughs> and I don't think they're supposed to look shocked. But they are all... <laughs> Oh, no. Wait, you're about to. There we oh, go. No. Oh yeah. No. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Things we can't unsee. Wait, you're you're about to see an amazing one too. You're about to see an amazing one as she's walking through the crowd. You'll see a guy <laughs> who is going to look at. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Hi. Totally oh. Aiden from Watch Dogs. Yep. So. <laughs> Actually, if you finish this game, it tells you the story of Two Human Part Two and Three. Actually, it just finishes. <laughs> it's this, just right there. this is the sec this is the sequel to Two Human. It was it's all true. a dog's dream. <laughs> so there should be some music in this. I wonder if people could hear the actual game. Um, if not, we'll have to tweak the audio a little bit. So we'll Everybody, see. give us give us a shout if you if you need to hear more of the game or less of the game. I mean, we can't make the game go away. That is not that's not a <laughs> choice. Much as we'd like to. Not a choice. Well, see, as a palate cleanser, though, I do have Wolverine, X Men Origins, which is not terrible. Which is not terrible. You've got to finish your X Men destiny. See, I didn't know we were doing that. I wish I knew that before I went to go and I bought X Men. <laughs> <laughs> I bought uh, Wolverine specifically for the oh. stream. It's alright. It's actually a pretty good game, though. Yeah, it's not bad. Oh, it's shit. like God of War, right? That's the thing? Um, I mean, it's it's Devil May Cry, God of War. Yeah, sure. The thing that's cool about that game is as you are getting damaged, bits and pieces of Wolverine start falling off. Ew, and then you, No, like, you see, you see, like, his bones... And you see like all these really horrific scars, but after a while he'll just regenerate, and then you see it all come back. It's pretty cool. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's a cool I like effect. That. So, that, that's a movie tie-in, right? That goes with one of those movies. It goes with the the horrible X Men Origins Wolverine. Oh movie. God! Like no, I like. That. No, oh, the one the with Ryan Deadpool. Reynolds one? The one with Deadpool and that whore and Taylor Kitsch is the worst Gambit of all time. Okay, agreed. Gambit is terrible, and Gambit is my favorite X-Men, so I took that actually very personally. I took that as a personal affront. No, but I, I no, I, I enjoy that. Now, uh, now, to be fair, I had no, no exposure to Deadpool before that movie. So if, if, that, if that's a completely inaccurate representation, I, that was lost on me. Oh, yeah. My, my, that's my totally that movie was like, do we need an origin for everything? Like, there's an origin for his jacket that he's wearing in all of the X-Men. That's actually true. That's very true. Well, the problem I had, like, I just had to be like, okay, none of, this is not actually canon. I'm just, because the idea that he's been alive since the beginning, uh, I, I can't. And the bones. Well, that, the bone that, stuff, that stuff is from the comic book. Like the, yeah, that's, him that's being him. that old and him being through, like if you if you actually read Origin, that's uh -huh. sort of the story of of the Bone Claws and all that other stuff. Really? Ha yeah. Yeah. However, the reason why that movie even exists is because if that movie was successful, they were supposed to do not X Men First Class. They were going to do X Men Origins for Magneto. Right, and, right, right, yeah. And they were going to do, I think, another one. I can't remember what the third one was. Um, but that movie bombed so badly, or was so bad, that they just retconned it, and they made Origins. Or they made uh, First Class. So, Which folks, was awesome. Which I really liked. Ben has just said, I'm a little bad, mad about the whole Channing Tatum Gambit thing. I'm torn on that. I'm into it. I'm into it. He, first of all, he's too big to be Gambit. Gambit is, doesn't look like that. Uh, that's the nah, mm, he's not that big. No, he's yeah. Yeah. Tatum is ripped. Dude. I mean, he's he's broad. He's like got mass. Yeah. yeah whereas but, Gambit is like lean. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Channing Tatum Tatum is extremely like charming and likable, and that works with Gambit. Yeah, I, like I think that Do he you... can be. All right, hold on. Now I'm gonna pop. I'm gonna pop a little link to an image into the oh, chat. Okay, here we go. Just a little something, oh boy. because this this is the very first image of Gambit, that like the very first full image of Gambit from the comics. Now take a look at that. He is jacked. 
Well, you have to remember every artist has a different interpretation. The truth. He's not okay. It's not about not being muscular. He's just it's a lean muscle mass. It is a lean. Channing Tatum is G.I. Joe. The, I thing, the, thing, the thing that I'm wondering is whether or not Channing Tatum does uh, a Louisiana accent. Does he do the, the French accent? Yeah, can he do it? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Completely agree. Because uh, Taylor Kitsch was not oh. good. Like, if they could get Channing... I don't mind Channing Tatum. If they could get him, but get the guy who did the voice for the cartoon to dub everything, that would be cool. I would be totally fine with that. I would also be totally cool with like Dallas Buyers Club Matthew McConaughey just put him in a trench coat give him a pack of cards <laughs> you know that wouldn't bother me yeah wouldn't that be great that at this point that would not bother me at that's, all that's a little yeah. too lean it's too lean and like 20 years too old but see but I like the idea of old Gambit like like sort of like Silver Fox Gambit I'd be into that but no, I, David Bowie is Gambit, forgettable username. I love that. I love everything about it. You know why? Because I always said Iman is the perfect person to play Storm. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's a good call. Right? Yeah, that's really... All right, Susan, you, no way. David Bowie is Mr. Sinister. Let's just be clear. Well, they, don't, they don't own... Uh, do they not own the rights to, to Mr. Sinister? Or is it Sony that doesn't own it? Oh, God, because the, the because rights are so weird. The rights are really weird for some of the like when Marvel was bankrupt and they sold off all their rights back in the yeah. day. Um, oh. Because I mean they they want to do a sinister sinister six uh, spin off of the Amazing Spider Man movies, but they don't. Sony doesn't have the rights to Mister Sinister, who I believe is one of the original Sinister Six. I don't no, know. all I know no, about no, the Sinister no, no. Six sinister, is sinister from. Here the we go. Spider-Man musical. It's so. it's it's uh, it's Doctor Octopus, the Vulture, Mysterio, Electro, Sandman, and Green Goblin. That's then, the original Sinister okay. Six. You so, really are a nerd, dude. That's awesome. But <laughs> then I think then I think what it is is that um, Fox doesn't have the rights to Mister Sinister. All right. And somebody else has. And Mr. they already Sinister killed off Cyclops. Like they hate Fox hates Cyclops. So how are you going to do Mister Sinister without Cyclops? Yeah, you have to Although really Havoc is in it, so I guess that makes sense. I mean, you could do his brother, but it's funny how they never refer to Scott Summers anymore. <laughs> like he's dead yeah, to Fox. It's just out. He's just out. It's funny because originally they got rid of him because he left to do um, Superman Returns with Brian Singer, who they were super mad at. But they've ah. they've since welcomed back Brian Singer and still have told uh, James. Mar Marston? What's his name? Mar Marsden. Marsden. Mar oh, no, Marsters is the guy. Marsters? Marsden. Marsden. <laughs> Marsden. <laughs> All right, let's just, for the next 10 minutes on the stream, just Marsden. Try Mar to pronounce it. It's, it's a really, it's where you have your cocktails <laughs> on a planet. The Marsden. <laughs> Marsden. Mar Y'all been to Marsden? <laughs> yeah, Fadawan has a really good point. The next movie is X-Men Apocalypse. And Sin Sinister wasn't one of Apocalypse's four, four horsemen, but Mr. Sinister did work with Apocalypse to develop the four horsemen when Angel was turned into Archangel. I'm really showing the col true colors now, aren't I? You know what's sad That's... is like X-Men 3 was such a bad movie that introduced oh my God, such just... good <laughs> characters. What? You, you, what? Are you saying don't talk about it because you hate it or because you think it's good? Yes. Okay, good. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's awful. It's yeah. an affront to everything that is good and right in the world. And it's such a tease because they show <laughs> the sentinel head and it's just a danger room oh, sequence. It sucks. Which is just... Su and then, like, I'm not particularly fond of the the, the sentinel design in uh, Days of Future Past. I think they yeah, kind of look a little it. lame. But, you know, still. But they got it right in Last Stand. I know. And that's the only thing they got right. Um, oh. <laughs> All right, so I I will. Well, wait, listen. wait, wait! Isn't that isn't that the first time Angel shows up? Or yes. Does he show up in? Yeah. yeah. No, he's yeah. he's perfect. Yeah, he is good. He's perfect, but my, then my, everything else in that movie is is tragic. My mm -hmm. favorite of all of like the screen depictions of X Men, even though he's not totally accurate to the comics, I love Alan Cumming as Nightcrawler. Oh, he's he's great. So 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 good. So good. I mean, he's he's very timid, which is strange for that character. Like Nightcrawler is supposed to be 
a swashbuckler. He, he's a he's a happy go lucky good time guy. Um, carving you know runes of penance into his own skin is a little odd. But what? There you go. Uh, Zav, are you ready to like tear it up in this game? Oh God. Because I want to see it. I want to see you embrace destiny. Yaddle, I too liked Beast in Last Stand. Beast in Last Stand was very good. It was Frasier, Wait, which I'm you... totally fine yeah, with. Yeah, it was Frasier. It was Kelsey Grammer, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It sure oh. was. Although, I don't know what uh, what the situation is with um, the with Beast in the new one, because the end of the movie of Last Stand, of uh, First Class, he changes, but there, in the trailers, he's it shows him both ways. Like he could turn it on or off, which is not how the character goes. That is weird. True. He can turn it on? Well, I mean. Well, I believe in the movie there's some time travel going on. Right, but it takes they, place yeah. after first class because. No, but I mean, like, they go back and forwards in time. Okay. So. We'll see. They yeah. would be going back. Although there's also. It, it might even take place before uh, Xavier gets shot because there are scenes with him walking around, too. Right. So right. I don't know yeah. what's I don't know what's happening anymore. Do you, do you want me to spoil it for you? No. no. Do it, no. Sam. No, no you do not know. spoil it for me. <laughs> no. Go away. There are there are no. I will, okay, I won't. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil. I won't it. spoil don't it. Spoil but it. this is what happens. No. 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 There are there are clips, official clips, like not leaked. These are things that the. Uh, I don't want to know. I haven't watched people... any of the trailers on purpose. Yeah, just uh, well, let's, let's just ignore. don't go. Just don't go look them up. I'm just saying that there are <laughs> clips out there that explain and have the answers to the questions you are asking. Uh, well, That's I'm assuming I that the movie. You know what movie... also does the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming right, the movie. I, will do I do like knowing that that is like explained. I like knowing that like that's not just going to be like a weird thing that we have to wonder about. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, they're not that bad. Like the the first class was really good it really was so and they I... very little money what oh yeah yeah they did they had like it was a fraction of the budget that they even had for x-men last stand that was like that was part of why first class like it was so cool that first class came out so good is that they they didn't have a whole lot of money for development they didn't have a whole lot of money for special effects which is huh. why it looks so janky when the fairy girl is like flying okay that yeah right? that is that is very janky that's uh, true so that's why in they they had like they were like yeah Matthew Vaughn you can make it like this how you want but this is how much money we're gonna give you mm. and and then he then he made it sing. Uh, forgettable username has an interesting question here in the chat, which is if you guys are here, who at Joystick is covering the Order eighteen eighty six live stream next door at PlayStation's Twitch? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> that's a good question. I should probably care about that, but I don't because. We're playing X Men Destiny oh. for you. For you, we do it all for you. And who cares about like a cutting edge next gen exclusive? Well, here's the, the thing: finest Canadian game ever. When I, hey. I, I, I do want to know about the order, and so I'm going to read Joystick's coverage of it on Tuesday. Hey, hey, there you go. Where uh, we will have a video preview, I believe, right, Zav? We sure will. Awesome. And Zav, you have played that game, haven't you? I cannot comment or, on rumor or speculation. Cannot, cannot comment on rumor or speculation. Uh, it's a game that may have been played and may not have been played. Can you guys hear me? You're echoey. What's going am on? I echoey? It's like I'm you walked away from your desk. I'm sorry. I'm in. I am. I'm in a different room than I am usually in. Oh. And okay. I'm. I'm realizing that there might be a little bit of a. <laughs> you sound better now. I, found, I sound better now? All right, yeah. 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 I am in the ideal space. Okay. All right. Well, we're we're going, so I guess we should, like, <laughs> we should act Zav, like we're working. Zav, are you, are you playing? I'm not. I was waiting for you to give me the whole, the whole, Dude, yeah. let's do this thing. Yeah, let's do it. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's for, it's 4 p.m. It's time for joystick streams. This is an impromptu joystick streams, which is, you know. squirrely. Yeah, this is this is the squirrely version of Joystick Streams where we're right before a holiday weekend. We want to get weird, and we <laughs> want to be watching X Men: Days of Future Past, but we're we can't do that. Not when there are awful X Men games to play. 
And Zav didn't have his copy of LJN's X-Men for NES on hand, so we're doing this instead. I almost uh, suggested that we play the old DOS game. <laughs> wow. The, the point and click. Did you ever play that point and click game? Not good. Gosh, what was there that was called? X Men point and click game. It was sort of like a top down point and yeah. click uh, adventure game, and you had to col- you had like groups of X Men that you had to send out and, and unlock things. It was it was a weird game. It was kind of <laughs> like it was kind of like the old Ghostbusters game from the eighties. Do you remember that? It kind of looks like that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit. Oh man, I'm glad there's <laughs> no. I'm glad we would never have to play that game. So. um... X-Men Destiny is a video game by a video game company that no longer video games. And, um... <laughs> oh, and, and our header still says playing Tropico 5, so there's that. Oh. No, yeah. no, 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 it's... Oh, it doesn't? Oh, okay. oh you have to... Re- if you refresh it, it it'll, it'll okay. change. It well, doesn't... I'll just trust you. Yeah. So... Are you using the wonderful headline, X-Men Destiny wrecks both future and past, which <laughs> is true. Accurate. Oh, God, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> so also, can we talk about what's going on with her hair? So I she feel like I feel like so the way that this is gonna work real quick is that we have to pick one of three characters to start our X Men related destiny situation. Um, and I'm gonna start a new game because I've never actually I, I I did play this a little bit and we want to try to finish this. Is that right? We're gonna try to beat yeah. this game. We're gonna try. We can't. You can't finish it in an hour, but we can. Make well, a lot we of we could probably do it if I play it on easy. So we're gonna play it on easy, and I'm gonna see if we <laughs> okay. can blaze through this thing. Um, okay. So there are three characters that you can select from. They ha- all have backstories uh, with varying lengths. So there's a thing that happened in this video game. Um, uh, but I think we should check out uh, Scarf Lady here, clearly. because That's, that's the character I played. That's so the, that's the only character, that. really, that you should select. Uh, but the thing that, about, this, about this game that's interesting, at least on its surface, is that as you're playing it, you'll be presented with choices, and you will either become a member of the X-Men or a member of the Brotherhood. So You know, I, like, back in the 60s... I understand where Magneto's coming from. He's militant, and, you know, that's there's problems with that. Pacifism is, is a way have. to go. But, like, if he wanted people this to respect his organization, Magneto. why did he go that with the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants from the get-go? Because <laughs> I, I he know. chose that name. Transparency, dude. You I know, guess. You know, but you know, like, do you know how hard it was for him to get a loan with that Heather? name on an application? <laughs> I will and he bought an asteroid for some <laughs> bank. Funded him in a very okay. Way. Wait, wait, wait! Don't tell well, me. Well, it's Magneto. He just paid with change. He just sopped up all the change <laughs> and dropped a giant if, ball if of you're quarters. You're working at a bank, right? And you're like approving things oh, for like an extension delay. on your house. And this guy wants to buy a boat. And this kid wants to pay for college. And then dude rolls in and is like, "I would like to buy an asteroid." Father! Don't tell me you're not hooking him up. I mean, well, not only does he want to buy an asteroid, but he is wearing an incredibly phallic helmet. Wow. It's a little, little phallic. It's a little, little like, phallic. this is a family show, but I am willing to say that is a penile helmet. You'll notice <laughs> You'll notice if you're watching the screen, this is the dramatic portion of the story where the character Amy, I think her name is, has, Amy. Amy has just Aimee. lost, her father has just put her on a boat to uh, America, I guess. And um, Apparently she lacks the mutant ability to swim. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, she can only... Well, her father is fire-based, so she just assumes that she is afraid of water. And the scarf dissolves if it goes into water. That's 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 in the canon. It is the source of her power. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the problem with the scarf is it's not very oh. absorbent. So... It's Magneto! Well, the textures are bad. Everything is bad! <laughs> I guess Magneto is just... just no like, it just sunk in that, like, wow... This doesn't really get so much work. You just don't really understand. I am psyched. I am so ready. Pyro! Uh, so actually, this this is just like so. While we're playing a Silicon Knights game, are there any Silicon Knights games that you guys feel strongly about? Yeah, Eternal Darkness is a great game. Yeah. I I like yeah. I like Twin Snakes. Twin Snakes, I thought was a pretty good game. Do you although, like, you like Twin Snakes, and you—that's a high bar for you, Zach. You're a big Metal Gear guy. I mean, I understand how broken it is because they put first-person shooting in it, and that kind of breaks the game. But I like—I like Twin Snakes. I thought it was pretty good. And you know, I, not, I too I human like at the too human at the time. Well, that's par for the course of Metal Gear, though. Um, mm. 
at the at the oh, time. I love, I love regular Metal Gear cutscenes. It's the redone Metal Gear, like the redone versions of the cutscenes from Metal Gear Solid. Mm. Like, like they they brought in, and now I can't remember his name, but they brought in a Hong Kong action movie director to re choreograph all of the cutscenes in Twin Snakes. Mm -hmm. So, like, the first scene with the ninja is, like, three minutes longer. And, like, it's just him flipping around, and you get, like, bullet time effects. And it's like, guys, it was so good before. Why so, are you missing? So we're, we're presented with no, our... No, it was better. It was better in Twin Snakes. It ah. was so, so we're presented so with our, uh, our first choice here. We can, uh, of our, you know, when you think about superpowers, you know, flying, invisibility, invulnerability... So we have a choice to make here. We can go with density control, <laughs> which sounds like which sounds like a government office. Really, density control sounds like a, like mid nineties Buster Rhymes album. <laughs> we could go with energy projection, okay, which that's pretty cool. Which we, 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 more more video gamey, and also, yeah. and, or the third option is shadow matter. All right, the the chat is calling for shadow matter. Shadow yeah. matter, really? No one wants to know about density control. You don't no want to fill. Out. I just, I, I, I have this feeling that if I select that, there's going to be a lot of forms to fill out, and like, there's just going to be so many things that I have to take care of. So we're going to go with, let's go with shadow matter. I density guess. Density control, sun. <laughs> like, how do you explain that to someone? What's your superpower? I have density control. It's like, do you need to go to the bathroom? Like, what's happening? Is, that, is, is it supposed to be like Kitty Pride? Is that like what we're talking about? Is it phasing? Susan, um, you've done this. I did energy projection you when I, energy. yeah, because that was the the one that sounded like it didn't, wasn't Aquaman levels of sucky power. <laughs> hey, hey, he Aquaman can talk to fish, alright? Aquaman can as, call fish. As someone, as someone who grew up in a Portuguese household, calling fish would come very much in handy because they <laughs> love fish. So, don't knock it. Okay, I, now she's just she's jumping through. All right, um, Yod Yodel says that when you have density control, you make things heavy. Right. I mean, like metaphorically. Or or, or <laughs> light. <laughs> you make them and oh man, this situation's just too much for me. Density yeah, like, control. Like, you know, it <laughs> makes people <laughs> stupid. Like suddenly you're dense. <laughs> Take yeah. that, Brotherhood of Evil Mutants! I Try to suss your way out of this legal form that you need you to okay? fill out. <laughs> Try to do calculus now, Brotherhood. I, I feel like I feel like we should reset it, and I should play. I should select density control now. That's amazing. All right, so that cutscene where in which I had no gameplay scenario to to play from um, oh, brought yeah, me to this load screen. Move? Yeah, she just did. You can't do that in the game. No, no. Uh -huh. I'm staring at a loading yeah. screen now. Wow, you, like she just like is parkouring all over the broken street everywhere. Uh, you will have diff you'll there will be many areas of the game, most in fact, where you cannot jump at all. Oh. And you can only jump and hang on to certain cross beams in certain places. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it like you know, I'm trying to think of like the perfect way to put this. You would go to like a museum in like the late 90s and they would have like an interactive booth that it pretended to be a video game but like there would be like one light up button like and every now and again you would sort of like dragon's lair but with really yeah, they, yeah. cg it sounds you almost like that is it black and white what? why is there Who no is color this? besides like the tree and the fire because it's a bad game <laughs> I'm about to fight um, seven of the same exact person here, so be, I'll be right back. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, oh. Pretty well coordinated. Why? Why is there a, like? Why are the guys from Stomp about to attack? Do you think that they? Do you think that they like just order in bulk from Hot Topic? Is that how this works, or like? So. These are the guys, like, like I was saying, there's there's a bunch of people who want to get rid of all mutants because they think that mutants are causing all of these uh, natural disasters. And there are the purifiers, and they are trying to purify you. And so the purifiers. And this, everything you're seeing right here, like the with the bashy and the beat him up -y, that is the sum total of what you get to do in the game. It's, okay, so there was this, it just gave me a prompt that says I can destroy this propaganda poster. It's a little weird because you guys are behind me in the stream. But I thought I'd have to go up to this poster and like press a button. I literally just hit, bumped into the wall by accident, and the poster disappeared. <laughs> Susan, um, 
Why do they go into the canonical reasons why the purifiers are uh, clearly sponsored by Target? Why are you doing this, though? <laughs> no, slow. We can't. I, that may have been a collectible. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, uh, all right. That's uh, you got to play through it and with all three characters. Exactly. Like that. To find out why the Jabberwockies want it. See him? Oh my god, the, the tutorial prompts do not leave the screen unless you hit the back button, so I'm being attacked, and there's a giant tutorial prompt in the why middle of the screen. Is, why is Christopher Walken playing Pixel? <laughs> he needed the money. <laughs> I'll project I'm Magneto's son. Can you see it? <laughs> Charles Xavier never scared me. <laughs> What are you doing, Charles? Marsupials do. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, like, everyone, I, I, I don't know if you guys agree with me, my favorite of the X-Men movies is definitely X2. I love X2. And I like X2 the most because it has the most scenes with Ian McKellen <clears throat> and Patrick Stewart just hamming it up. Like, when, when Ian McKellen is just, like, screaming, You should have killed me when you had the chance, Charles! Like, that's... I, I could just watch that all day. Yeah, that's totally fair. I can't be mad at you for that at all. I have a soft spot in my heart for the first one, because it was actually filmed in Toronto. And I'm, oh, really? And I'm super Canadian. Yeah, but then the yeah, SARS are, thing happened. Power is that I'm Canadian? Yeah. Free healthcare is my mute color. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, and uh, gosh, what was it? It was the SARS outbreak that made them change it to Vancouver. Really? Uh -huh. yeah. oh. History! Yeah, Zach, do, you miss, do you miss the days when literally every single television show was filmed in Vancouver? I thought you were going to ask me if I missed the days of SARS. I was like, well, <laughs> I don't have particularly fond memories of it one way or the other. Um, actually, there are still a lot of films and uh, movies that are filmed in Canada. And and video game and video game masterpieces as we're viewing we here we yes. with X Men. Destiny. So oh, you think. this is like uh, you can literally get through this game just hitting the same button over and over again the entire time. They seem very just one button because you dangerous. get combos and stuff, but yeah. you don't really need them. More sophisticated. Yeah, members. unfortunately for me, I'm hitting escape on my keyboard. It's not doing anything. Oh, so Foben is uh, putting in quotes amazing. from. The review I wrote of it when it came out. Like the game also boasts yeah, some impressively pointless looting. platforming sequences, which consist of jumping good. up to a crossbeam, shimmying along faster stage, than you can actually run on the, the ground, game, right? and then dropping down to your destination. I'll do what I, have to. I guess they're meant to add some much needed variety to Destiny, but they're so fast, easy, and dumb that you'd be forgiven for okay. forgetting they even Better exist. Keep going. Does Iceman have ice cornrows? Yes. Oh, oh man, that's awesome. Find a way out and random so just chunks of it growing out his arms because, you know, everything else on his body perfectly sculpted. You'll notice and that then, you'll notice that when the enemies, when I finished that cutscene, the enemies were patiently waiting for me to finish, uh, finish my conversation <laughs> with Iceman. <laughs> They're like, are you are you good? Should we should we just wait here? Okay, we'll wait for a couple more minutes. <laughs> They're Canadian. They're being polite. They're very polite. Are those coins? No, uh, so they're not coins. They, re they refill your little meter. <laughs> yes. And, and your, what, is your, what is your meter do? You're, well, you've got get health, and then the you've got your special move meter, and then uh, she's also le panic. leveling up. The psychic noise is definite. My patience meter is at an all-time low, search. though. <laughs> oh, you haven't even... The, the suck hasn't even really started yet. Something, something Mimic Bobby is turning into a mushroom zombie from The Last of Us. It kind of looks like that. Oh wow, that would make the game so much better. I would, I would like that crossover, please. Last of Us X Men, absolutely. I mean, technically Ellie is a mutant, right? That's a thing. I suppose that's true. Yeah. Spoilers. So Susan, this this raises an interesting question. What is the worst game that you guys have ever had to review? Like, hands down, it was the worst game you've ever reviewed. Oh, I know mine right away. Alien Clo no. Aliens Colonial Marines. Yeah, Fair. there you go. When I, okay, so I was supposed to review Colonial Marines, and I got it, and uh, Mike Wayner also got a copy because we were supposed to do co-op together to test that, and I started playing it, and I was like, because we all saw the previews, right? Mm -hmm. 
Of course. So, I, I went to one of those guided private demos. Yeah, me too. And like, and uh, you, the game you saw looked good, didn't it? Right, right. Yeah. That's fantastic. And I'm a huge Aliens fan. So I start playing the game, and I'm like, I have to be doing something wrong. This is so bad. <laughs> I... I, I you can't actually do this bad, so clearly I'm playing it wrong. Smoke <laughs> so I ha um, I I asked Mike, I'm like, Mike, I need you to play this game because I, I don't get it. I'm I'm screwing it up so badly that I think it's terrible. Mm. And so he started playing it, he's like, No, this is bad. Um the, the but the worst game I've ever had to review as a professional mm -hmm. was Amy. Oh, oh, was that I've that downloadable that. Uh, horror game? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was pretty I've heard that's unplayable. There's a whole community. Like, well, no, well, according to the developers, I never realized. no, it's not unplayable. You're just not very good at video games. <laughs> <laughs> that They actually said that, yes. Yikes. Yeah. That's, that's, I would say, that's it. Sam? I would say the, the worst one that I've reviewed would be uh, Walking Dead Survival Instinct. Um, oh, that's the that's the Daryl game, right? The, Darryl game. the oh, one with gosh. Merle and Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. Merle, Merle and Daryl. Merle Earl. Now, see, yeah. this is... The, the X-Genes and the Suits is, an, is the one idea in, the, in this game that is actually a really good thought. What's the deal? So the deal is, um, you as you go through the game, pay. you will find different genes and different suits. And you, the, the different genes give you different, uh, affects different aspects of your power. One might make you run faster, another one might give you more life, another one uh, gives you, like, for example, Emma Frost's diamond skin, so you can you can take more damage, stuff so like that. Really great. Okay, great. And then you get, the suit is just cosmetic, it's a costume. But, if you get the three genes and the suit all from the same mutant, like if you get Emma Frost's three genes and then her outfit, oh. you get a, a bonus ability. I kind of like that. Yeah, it's a really, really great thought. It's just, in practice, they all do pretty much the exact same thing, so it doesn't really matter. And you never, ever, ever, ever feel cool. Never. Ever. <laughs> so, is, so when you have the costume, is it just, would he still look like this Asian schoolgirl cosplaying no. as Emma Frost, or does he like basically <laughs> transform into Emma Frost? Yes, you will look like the little Asian girl cosplaying as Emma Frost. Okay, I don't know if that's better or worse. It's that I, I, that was one aspect of the game I liked. I thought. Yeah, I want to know why, like, I want to know why Silicon Knights decided that, all right, our three characters, we're just going to use clip art from an old dare campaign. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hit me pretty hard. That was pretty good. Oh, gosh. Uh, Wait a minute, Zab. Did you did you just go into like a side area that had nothing for you to do other than fight people, and then you came back? Hey, I'm achievement hunting. Yes. I'm looking for achievement. Well, no, that's yes. There's lots of areas like that. You just you go, and they're all exactly the same. You go, you kill the requisite number of dudes, and you get a reward. You get a thing. Like he got the juggernaut team for completing that challenge. Uh, Susan, did this game was this cross generation? Because like. This seems like it. I, I know it's only a few years old, but this was still a time when you would see like a Wii version and a PS2 version, in addition to the like 360 and the PS3 versions. More hit and miss. It was for some games, sure. Yeah. But. This this. And if you're really thinking looks, that's why this was this bet. No. no I, I I just looks like it looks I like do. a PS2 game. Like it, like a bad PS2 game. It looks like a bad PS2 game, yeah. I'm sorry. Did you? By the way, I'm I'm sorry, Sam. I interrupted because of the uh, the jeans and the suits. But what did you want to talk about? The Merle and Durrell game. Oh, voice. that. Uh, You're holding up pretty well. That one we was just bad. It it was we another thing where it had like everything. interesting ideas. Like the whole, oh, well, we have a vehicle, and you pick up survivors, but you can only fit so many people in a car. So it's like, oh, man, I'm going to have to make some heart-wrenching decisions here. But it's, no, it's just, oh, Grandma, sorry, you don't have as much health or as combat expertise as this other guy, so I'll just leave you by the side of the road, and we'll keep on our way. I'm, I'm, it's all handled through menus. There's no, like, tearful goodbyes or somebody like fighting to stay in the group it's all just you look at a person's portrait and coldly rationalize like all right well i have this many health packs and she took damage so i ain't wasting it on her and you just leave them by the side of the road peace out grandma 
<laughs> yeah. The other, no, the, fight. the other really great thing about that game was that I basically wanted to get into the middle of a horde of zombies because he has, you have an instant kill move mm -hmm. uh, with your knife. Like, uh, you get into, like, this little grappling mini game where uh, target, uh, target reticle moves over the screen kind of wildly, and you have to try and aim it onto a designated circle. And if you do, then you can pull the right trigger and execute this instant kill move. But what happens is you pull the trigger, kill the zombie, and then there's literally no time for you to get away from the zombies behind that one. So you just go around in a circle, stabbing them all in the head. <laughs> and they do less damage to you when they're grappling you. So you just want to get into the middle of them and become like a description that I can't Restraint. use because it's a family friendly show I'm gonna see who else is but you're just getting surrounded by these zombies and mm -hmm. yeah okay I need to put here's another part of this Big game boy. that I, I, I just like I love very much okay. oh wait really quick before you do this why yeah, is yeah. there why is there a health pack here uh, this is a, an area that activated as soon as I got through a cutscene there's been no enemies, but they put a health pack here randomly. I have to cross I this bridge to go beat these guys. <laughs> there's no reason for this to be here. Oh my god, this game. But here's the, okay, so this, this building that we're looking at right now. Now the building is clearly like a hotel or something. It's six or seven stories high. And you'll see that the road is coming up to reach its roof. <laughs> Well, that's what happens when the target thing attacks. Well, I mean, the place has been wrecked by natural disasters, and apparently the earthquake was so bad that it made the roads, made the roads. <laughs> 70 buildings. feet high. I don't know how that happened. My thumb Maybe hurts, guys. Maybe the hotel fell down? No, because you can see all the other buildings still around it. Like, it's still... Like, there are still buildings higher than it and lower than it. It's high. Ugh. Susan, it doesn't all turn out to be a danger room simulation at the end, does it? <laughs> no, that would have... That, that, that guy clipped through his name. It showed his name, and he clipped through his name. Oh, God. This oh, I can't I wait to see this. <sighs> You're one of us, right? I love it. also it, like, declares, like, ten enemies left. The tension is growing. <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, hey, it's a little windy. Oh, Baram Tinu. Oh, they actually have oh, Caliban. Totally oh my yeah. god, he really did. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's awful. I don't understand why that cosplayer girl... Like, what is that skirt even doing? Because it just... Like, it literally stops above her butt. Like, the skirt is not fulfilling its function as clothing. Oh my god, you're totally right. This building is like 20 stories high, and this road is right <laughs> next to it. What? That is what? ridiculous. <laughs> All right, we have so, questions about physics here. So I've decided that I'm going to play this uh, purely evil. I'm going to go with the oh, Brotherhood. Cool. Okay. Because um, there's no way I would so what sacrifice the X-Men's dignity oils. by joining them I know in what this I'm up against. horrible fight. I'm strong enough. I don't really have time for this. But do also, I kind of want to for a punch Wolverine if that's at all possible. <laughs> Oh, like he shows up in this game. Does I told does you all the have to do this. No! He's in screenshots. What do you mean? He's not in this That's game at all? Idea. He's what literally on the box. And you'll see what I can do. Is he? Yeah. I don't Okay, let me say let me rephrase. I don't remember him being okay. in the game at all. Thank you. You've been very helpful. So if he is in it, it is not oh, in any significant way. Suck up. Mm. Just know when to see. Like all can't. like all the cool like the A team of mutants are all like they just kind of like yeah. pop in and be like, Let's hey, can you go over there? Great, thanks. Oh, oh my god, these, these tutorial prompts that don't go away unless you hit a button are the dumbest thing in the world. Like, I'm being attacked by 30 people, and you know how I know it's 30 people? It told me it's 30 people. <laughs> Dab, I, I have a, I have a, a tip for you. To beat all the later. challengers in an area, to move to the next area. Oh, ten enemies, guys. We're good. We're good. I was so worried for after, uh, after I, I, I posted my review, and I, here's, here's the thing. We never want to write a bad review, right? Like, we never want to say, hey, this thing you've been working on is complete crap. 
like, if it is, it is. I mean, because our obligation is to the readers, not to the people who make it. But you always feel bad. And so after I, I ran the review, one of the guys who worked on the game got in touch with me and was like, yeah, it's it's terrible. We, <laughs> we, it's just really bad. How dare we? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Play with Ryan, you're going to get burned. I've had that happen. I, I don't think I've, like, ever been... Because you're right, I, you don't ever want to like be mean. Like yeah. there's no th that doesn't even serve any purpose well, you, to be yeah, like. But you do want to be honest, spiteful. and you, you yeah, don't necessarily you, be, uh, you don't necessarily have to be like vicious to be honest, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, so this was make it to a where review I did for um, the Connect game, uh, Fable: The Journey. Oh god, that game is so bad. Raven. I I enjoyed moments time. of it. Time is a sure, yeah. Have. Um, Very oh, odd ideas. In yeah. yeah. We well, the the, 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 we lose them the all. one thing that like I got an email about that just seemed kind of random Are was you? I called you out caller? since you know oh, being good. a farm kid. Hello, I mean. uh, I, I ride horses and everything, and uh, I just <laughs> called out the game and I was like, "That's not how you steer a horse." And and it's like, yeah, it's just a minor thing. And somebody from the development so team emailed me and were like, yeah, we actually to tried minions, to get it so that you would steer it like you would steer a horse. And they yes, said that they didn't want it that way. <laughs> why would no time why would they along. not? I don't understand. We stop well, the way you would steer a horse if, if a horse knows what's called neck reining is you just put one hand out to the side. Like you just pull well, the direction you want the horse to go. But the way you do it in... The journey is you have easy. to lean like your whole it's body scary. over right. to that way. So my guess is it's probably something more to do with like the connect oh. wasn't that accurate, what and that's probably oh, why. I think that's, we need that's to blow that roof. Yeah. So well, yeah that, I'm, I'm that confused. I'm sorry. What? I'm confused. It's, I think it's about to get me to. So I, I did a pyro mission. It said my brotherhood, I like my reputation with them has has gone up. But now I'm. I think they're about to offer me uh, a mission with Mystique and Nightcrawler, but I can't tell if this is a Brotherhood mission or if an X-Men mission because it's Mystique. But it's also oh, it's help Pyro or help Nightcrawler. Oh, okay, I'm gonna help Pyro. Forget you, Nightcrawler. Sorry, Sam. I know Nightcrawler is your favorite. Oh, he is my favorite. But I'm doing. I'm I'm helping uh, the Brotherhood instead. He's he's the incredible Kurt Wagner, the Nightcrawler. So something mimic says that uh, Aimi's pow mutant power is cosplay. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Faux Ben at one point said, is there, because you guys were talking about jeans and costumes, and it sounded like, because you were saying jeans and like yeah. shirts at the same time, I think Faux Ben said, like, is there a mutant power that has, like, tailoring abilities? <laughs> <laughs> Which is amazing. Alright, Single and Lovin' it just noticed something I was going to bring up. I think the Mystique character model is the exact same character model as Emma Frost. Oh my god, now I gotta see her again. Yeah, I, I, like, Single and Lovin' it, I think they're on to something. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Like, it's just her, but blue. Oh, and, uh, Jacklesworth says that Aimee's mutant power is to create random pointless pop-ups in the middle of the air. <laughs> <laughs> This just game! Uh, look at this game, guys! Just look at it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad! I think I, it I think it wants me to punch these uh these water valves, guys. Because it's it has giant icons on these water valves. You've gotta be kidding. Yep. Water valve jump I don't know, I guess. Oh, oh, oh my god. They're gas valves, oh, aren't they? Oh okay. yeah, gas valves. I'm sorry. Yeah, well now really it makes sense. In the in the canonically now it just makes more sense. Yeah, okay, so here's what you're gonna do. I, I... <laughs> you're gonna set the roof on fire the roof. <laughs> you're setting it on fire before the purifier Because that's safe. Also, I'm with Pyro. Why do I need to do this right now? <laughs> his, that the whole his power is honestly controlling fire. Also, I love the way that you get these valves to burst. You just punch it a lot. Don't don't turn these valves. You completely inexperienced teenager in the cosplay outfit. Do my job for me. This is this is this is another problem I have with the game. So I went the X Men when I played it. And at one point, you're further in the game, uh, um, Colossus, like you run into Colossus, and he says, okay, we have to go do thing, thing, thing. And you say, no. 
It's just like you're like shaking your finger at him. No, we have to go through this other thing. Like, you've been a mutant for like 20 minutes. And you're telling Colossus what to do. I'm having trouble. And he and he goes along with it. He's like, okay, okay, don't get upset. <laughs> Also, my mission objective was just turned into get off the roof. Get off the roof! It just turned into a- the game just turned into a surly old man. Like, get off my lawn. Which happens to be on the roof of my house. In the scarf! Get off of there! You don't know little little cosplay girl! Hey, it's Forge. Amy, if you're up on the roof again, during this environmental apocalypse where the streets became as big as the buildings. bomb and there's some sort of interference wave that keeps affecting all my tech. People from Target were just filming the streets. Watching my back the whole time. It is a little... Costco. It does, like, it's hallucinatory in a way. Oh, Forge is in this. They do bring in some weird mutants. I will Yeah, they definitely do. There are some very unusual mutants here. Which is, again, could have been kind of cool. Yeah, could have been cool. Is he? Not. She's basically an intern. Right, exactly. She's an intern and and Colossus is all like, okay. If you look into the distance, and you'll see this in a second, there are just a couple guys standing there. <laughs> they're not they're not doing anything. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna point the camera. They're just standing in the background waiting for me to finish but beating up these 76 other guys. So it's funny, like I'm going to go ahead and assume that everybody on this call right now likes the old Konami X-Men Arcade game, right? Oh, sure, yeah, of course. At the end of the day, you're doing even less in that. Oh my god, Jeff, you're not kidding. Yeah. We're just hanging out. Oh, they joined the party. No, they did not join the party. New guys came in instead, and those guys are just protecting that street corner. I think they're selling some sort of drugs or something. <laughs> this has just turned into an ad for D.A.R.E., as you've said. <laughs> Look, it even says that I have no enemies left, and I can clearly see there are two enemies in the background. <laughs> I'm, told you your name. I'm Forge. Maybe, maybe they're just, so these maybe they're friends. By the purifiers? Maybe they want to hang out. We can they're frenemies. Yes. They're frenemies. They left, they'd be transferred onto a truck or a freight oh train. Forge, telling stop where talking. Been taken to after that. I just want to tell them all, like, run. Just get out of this horrible universe. Is there universe. else I can do to help? So I, I seriously yes. want to know what you guys think. Like, why, like, what distinguishes a beat-em-up like this Somewhere from a good beat-em-up like the X-Men arcade signal tower of some Like, why is that if awesome and this is terrible? Shut it down. We won't have to worry about any other bombs Besides the obvious. To that <laughs> Besides things like better art. Well, I mean, if, right. yeah. it's like playing a Batman Arkham uh, a City and, or Arkham Asylum, and instead of playing as Batman, you play as the plucky young kid and not Robin. Like, you're this new kid. Yeah. You know, you're not playing as any of the X-Men, which is the draw of an X-Men game, you know? Crazy concept. If I'm playing a game that says X Men on the box, I'm pretty sure I want to play as one of the X Men. Hold on, I gotta bump into this wall and destroy this poster. Anyway, so <laughs> that's I, part I, of it. I, I like this the idea of being a brand new mutant and you get to shape their powers. Like that that core idea, I think, is really cool. But the difference between this. And, and a good beat em up, or even even a beat em up like God of War or, or something like that, is there's a rhythm and an ebb and a flow yeah. to a to a good game. And there's a you know it gets harder as your as, you know it matches your abilities, and as you get better at the game, the game gets harder. And this never does. Well, another thing too is go play that. Uh, hey, you. classic X Men beat 'em up by yourself. See how much fun you have. Oh, I, I, oh, that's true. I, I, I still do that. <laughs> well, this I is a single player. And I, do it. I mean, the, the, uh, I don't, I don't know how you can have fun on that game by yourself. <laughs> I, I like looking at it. Like Susan was like, yeah, exactly. Like the art alone, and like the old digitized voices, like hearing, uh, you know, the uh, Wendigo voice come out of that game where it's like, where'd it yes. go? You... That's, I, I get a lot out of that. I oh my that. god, what do they do to Magneto in this game? He looks horrific. Forgive me. He looks like he's 
It looks Why like he's cosplaying as Magneto. It doesn't look like Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> only trying to keep the and I'm, I'm sorry. I should not react to things as they're happening, but it's just so difficult when you've got such a <laughs> spectacle in front of you. Where do you think it will I also like that these people are like telling me the, the plight of this horrible, horrible disaster, and every time I have the option to say anything to them, I just say goodbye. I don't actually listen to them. <laughs> no, I'm not interested. I'll see you later. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Here's your, your shot at Magneto, guys. Oh, All of you. Oh, Let's yes, use bullets. <laughs> Look at him. He looks so terrible. Oh, God. It's really bad. It's really bad. Yeah, Magneto does look like a high school math teacher that decided to cosplay. Oh, my God. He's he's totally at Comic-Con. Oh, my God. He really is. Understand. Wow. Eric, no! Um, yeah, you know, it, it's interesting because, like, I, I don't like this game, and I think it is the, the interaction, and it's sort of the way that it's paced that makes it different, because I could play, like, Marvel Ultimate Alliance or X-Men Legends. Like, those games are great. Like, those, like, Diablo, almost like like Champions of Norath, it was sort of like X-Men yep. Legends was Champions of Norath, basically. Like, those games, I think, are great, but there's a pace to it, and there's, like, a theme to it, and it's... The, but this is just like isn't doing much in the way of it's this continuing story of characters that are just like half baked, Reyes, barely. And it just—it's not to me. It doesn't seem very interesting. To to the of all yeah, this. it's devoid of any kind of through line. Like, there's nothing. There's nothing tying all this together. Thoughts. Even the genes and suit stuff. You like you haven't seen any of that stuff since the first time you were talking to Emma Frost. Like that—that. Part he's, of the game. Picked up, he's picked up jeans and stuff. But he hasn't had any need to start mixing and matching. Well, there isn't a need. No, it's it's a playstyle preference. Yeah, I, the the level design is so bad that I just got lost in a in a court, like, in just a yeah. courtyard. Because I because all the beams, the ones that you can climb on, look exactly like they just put a, like a shimmer on them. And it looked like some of them were shimmering, so I'm just jumping up against the wall for 20 minutes. But meanwhile, I had to go through this this strange hole in the wall. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, they arbitrarily decide, oh, no, 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 this is a beam you can jump on over here. Oh, there's going to be, a, you're going to have to bump into that wall over there and take that propaganda again to post it. Oh, no, I missed a, a, a wall bump. I'm going to jump back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Ha Weird question. Have they ever released the X-Men Genesis game? Can you get that on anything? Is that a virtual console game? I don't think so. I wanted to get the, um, Gosh, what was that? The the arcade game, and maybe play yeah. that because that's multiplayer. But they they uh, delisted, and they, yeah, you can't get it anymore. Yeah. I mean, if I had purchased it originally, I would have access to it. Yeah, I never did. Because I was waiting for this, guys. <laughs> Susan, do you ever leave this city? During the attack on the rally. Yes. You, you do. Well. <laughs> No. <laughs> but you do go to you, you go to more interesting areas. You know that the Brotherhood is assembling its slightly than this. Oh my God! The option that I could select from was either X Men or Awesome or Brotherhood Rule. <laughs> I also uh, I also choice. like that Cyclops just open. greeted you with Konichiwa. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> All right, no. thanks, bro. That's was, not. What difference does it make? Wasn't that Ayumi oh, saying that? Because she randomly to remind you oh, that she's it? Japanese. Yes. Oh, my bad. Yeah, Sorry. See, arigato. Yeah. When you have a singular purpose like, and conviction, because you can't really tell, because I've got the emo haircut covering up my eyes. I'm going to remind you. Who are you calling weak? I'm Japanese by throwing out random Japanese phrases where it's not really necessary well, you or likely. But Susan, that's how Who human beings talk. No, oh, don't. <laughs> this is admittedly some of the most Good, natural dialogue me. ever, ever, ever in in the history of all if all media, not just oh. video. Oh, guys! I, now I look like Quicksilver with a scarf. Look yes, that. that's the thing. All the outfits have the stupid scarf. Hey, guess what? I still, wa I still have the just most gingerly pace to my run ever. Like, there's th doesn't seem like the world around you is crashing around when you're just jogging. <laughs> like, look at this. Like, you guys, do I'll look be back. Like you're wearing a tracksuit. I'm gonna, I'm doing laps. Like, look at this. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm turning this into a two, uh, 2.5D uh, action game. I'm just gonna play it sideways like this for the rest of the game. <laughs> Um, all right, so I love how it's like make a decision, and then they just stand here until you go st go over there to this uh, that X, and they don't they don't move. They they don't even have any like idle animation. They're just standing nope. still. 
Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> Susan, how far into the game is Zach at this point? Oh, he's it's still pretty early on. So I, not like a third of the way through. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? The bridge just. <laughs> bridge just. Oh god. Oh god. I wish you guys could see it as I'm seeing it because it makes it more entertaining. But what can I do? You guys are still watching me uh, run around as Quicksilver. Yes, you yes. Okay, yeah. We just saw you break through the gate. But you'll just oh, you'll great. randomly see, no. you'll randomly see a, a giant. What bridge is the? Oh, just float okay. in the air. Sure. Hey, Juggernaut's in this game, and he looks pretty cool. Oh, gosh. The coolest, coolest Juggernaut in video games: X Men vs. Street Fighter, the old Cap game. Oh, that game's so good! Wow. Is that the only playable rogue in all the X Men video games? Oh my God! It just said 50 enemies remaining. Guys, yep. it, it, there, there's too many enemies. I don't think and really it never like. The combat never gets more interesting. Why they have little stun batons instead of I don't know. <laughs> is there a block? Like, have you ever had the block? Uh, there is a block, but I've never actually done it. I just remember, like, you, as you level up and get stronger, you get uh, really cool moves. And, well... Pretty cool. <laughs> let, me just, <laughs> let me just walk that back a little bit. Uh, and so I ended up, I, the move I ended up getting was, uh, I, it was a combination of jeans and costumes and stuff like that. Uh, and then I would just, do, I just spammed that. The end, I'm like, oh, I got this now. Boom. Boom. Dude, dirt, dirt. I just like watching Juggernaut punch people, and the physics on these guys as they're flying through the air is nuts. Alright, Xavier80 has a good call. I want to see Juggernaut cosplay as her. And I agree. Mm. Juggernaut with, but like, he still has to be wearing the helmet. But the, is he having a little skirt and a little stripey tights? Too. With the stripey tights and the scarf over the helmet. Well, that'd be delightful. I wonder if if I align myself with Cyclops, would I have now like a hood underneath this scarf and just like be yeah. just dying to breathe fresh air at some point in this video game? <laughs> and so the Gundam guy. Oh, like... I got the Iceman suit though, guys. Even though I've aligned myself with the the Brotherhood. Well, that, yeah, that's the thing. You can get. The, the, the align really the only difference between the alignments is uh, which missions you get, and because I think you end up with oh good cool there's two. Uh, oh that's the ice man suit. Uh, cool. It's it's the game's virtually identical. It's not like there's it's you know it's not like it's hugely different whether you're good air quote or evil air quote. Oh, I have like a bunch of stuff that I can actually. Uh... Oh, let's equip this Iceman suit. Heck yeah. And I want to I want to see if you get the arm nubs if you uh <laughs> no, use the Iceman. Unfortunately not. It's just a blue jumpsuit. And but, oh. her, but her scarf matches much better with this one, so I'm going to go with it. Um what else do we have here? I can level up some powers, I think. Ooh, what is this? Energy absorb, mutant power. Uh or extra bars added to your M power meter. What is that? I don't I don't I don't much care for that, so we're gonna go with. Eh. Oh gosh, this game, guys, this game is something special. <laughs> so good. But but you can see in like the jeans and the suits, you can see the good idea. Right, you can see there there is a pitch for an X Men yeah. game underneath this. And that's what makes me ultimately sad is that. The, the game that this is the core idea of, I really like. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man, I've collected so many orbs that I could just level everything up. Look at this, guys. I mastered this game. Zoop! You're, ve you're very good at video games. <laughs> Thanks. People don't know this, but Susan says that to a lot of us. <laughs> yes. Well, Richard started well, Rick, Yeah, Richard Mitchell is the best at video games. <laughs> yes. That's that's things we know. I still remember when we played. Uh, gosh, what was it? Um, Titanfall. <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's just like, guys, I'm so good at video games. Yeah, I just killed three dudes all by myself. Oh, I could totally activate these ab abilities. 
my ether First, abilities. I wonder if ether abilities means it'll just knock. I can knock myself out because I really wish that I had some ether right now. True, true story for everybody in the chat. This is how you know Richard Mitchell is not a team player. Instead of enjoying X Men Destiny like a trooper, he's watching X Men Days of Future Past right now. <laughs> jerk. You oh. know? Come on. I'm a jerk. <laughs> God, I just, I just like wish that the. They just ran a little oh, faster. Much, there was a little bit more speed on these, you know. I can take them. You know what? I would I would think that uh, if you want a, a game where you want to play as a superhero, that's fun. Um, I really like, and it's free to play. I really like. Um, gosh, what was it? Um, DC Universe Online. Oh. Was a really fun MMO. Um, so that's pretty cool. And I also, highly recommend Infamous Second Son. If Infamous you Second Son for sure. Wow. That. <laughs> that is yeah, that's also that's also a really good. Sorry, I keep responding to things that's happening on the screen. I would like the chat to tell us what their favorite, their best recommendation for a superhero, and it doesn't have to be a, a, an official superhero. Yeah, yeah. But something that makes you feel superhero-y. Oh, I'm, I'm I'm presented with yet a new choice. I can select from two two powers: Shadow Grasp or Edge Storm. I feel like they just put random words in the generator <laughs> and like hit a button. So okay, shadow grasp. What is shadow grasp? Executive density control. <laughs> <laughs> Vice president of executive density control. Um, so okay, um, tentacles of shadow will grab surrounding enemies, pull them toward you, towards you, and launch them into the air. So that's. Shadow Grasp. Edge Storm. Unleashing your ethereal blades in a cyclone, you can slice enemies while pulling them into your vortex. I mean, that sounds cooler. That sounds dirty. Edge Storm is way cooler sounding than Shadow Grasp. That's true, yeah. Shadow Grasp sounds like I lost my keys. Like, and I'm trying to get, I'm like, <laughs> oh god, where are they right now? Let me use my Shadow Grasp. Oh, there they are. I'm gonna go with Edge Storm. Oh god, I got, I got an achievement. That means I can never... <laughs> my, my account's forever sullied. Oh, thank, oh, thanks uh, for the uh, giant tutorial prompt that won't go away in the middle of this boss battle. By the by. Yes, Black Mage uh, 66652 has recommended me. Prototype. I have never played one of the Prototypes. Oh, you really should. Should I? Yeah. I'm not an open it's world open. guy. I'm not an open world guy. Oh, uh, well. The gameplay, the core gameplay of Prototype was really fun. I hated the main character. Well, yeah, he's a bit of a tool. He is a bit he's, of a nugget. He's, he's regular, like, Nothing. standard issue military bro, right? <laughs> no, he's a dude. No, he's, he's like just. Go ahead, Sam. More frat bro than than dude, than uh, military. Is it, dude am bro? I thinking of Prototype Two? Is yeah. that what I'm thinking of? That's he's yeah, he's the military one. Yeah, yeah, he's the one who's like going out for revenge. Nothing. Here's the thing. He he wakes up with this with his powers, with his prototype powers. Like he, one day, normal ordinary dude. Next day, give it up. Mutant and in trouble, and it's not his fault. And he's mm. pissed. Mm. And it's and kind of like yeah, he's a fool. But I feel like he can kind of understand where he's coming from. Yeah, but he's so that. bipolar about it. He's just, he's like yeah. super nice to the chick who's like helping him. And then he goes out and he murders 20 grandmothers. Nothing. You Nothing. You okay, can but pick a grandmother up and coming. throw her under a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a simulation for me. <laughs> So I, I beat that yep. boss battle. I beat that boss, by the way. I, now, I, someone I, else suggested uh, super, uh, Saints Row 4. I would say that's a really good one. I have got to finally play... Oh, all right, here's a question on that, Tim. Should I play 3 or 4? Both. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> uh, no, don't play the first one. No. Uh, yeah, I guess you could skip the first one. Not the second one, really. Yeah, I kind of like the second one. I'm not saying it's bad. But I think it just, it really comes into its own with three. All right. Yeah, agreed. And four, four is the one with all, like, the game, video game satire sections, right? It has the dubstep gun. I don't think you need to know anything else about it, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty good one. I mean, uh, four is, is basically an extension of three. I mean, like, 
one, two, and three are very different games. Each one of them, yeah. Uh, yeah. whereas three is three and four are pretty much they're they're very similar. Zav, I noticed that you keep getting achievements for like almost nothing. I want to see one that pops up that what just happened? says, "So, still playing, I'm huh?" Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you beat this game and get all of the uh, achievements in this, you are you are officially part of the litigation, as <laughs> that this game was a part of, and you may owe money. That is, Dayak has to send you three cents in the mail. <laughs> no, I mean like you are now one of the defendants. Like you have enjoyed this game so much that you somehow now used the Unreal Engine inappropriately. So now Epic is coming after you. Yeah. Oh my god, stop talking, guys. There's, there's just no, there's, there's nothing that's happening right now. Although they did just mention uh, Remy LeBeau, speaking of Gambit. Thank you for pulling oh, me yeah. out there. I could have been dead. Somebody in the chat earlier on asked the question, what is going on with Nightcrawler's tail? And, like, it really is, like, Nightcrawler's tail is just supposed to be blue, but in this it looks like one of the sandworms from Beetlejuice. Okay, look, he, he went to Jamaica for vacation. <laughs> And he got his tail wrapped. He got it beaded. I just saw that comment from Sam in the comments. He said, why is Nightcrawler Rasta? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he has dreadlocks and he has a goatee. And he has the colorful beading on the tail. Like, Nightcrawler is German. I don't... Oh, God. Oh, I'm raging so hard. You have no idea. Sam is my favorite. They murdered him. Yeah, I just... I, I'm right now. Um, I So, yeah, that is totally the same character model, by the way. It is It is identical. Totally that. Oh, it is. It so is. Yeah, it really is. Oh, yeah, it, well, okay. Lie. You know, why not? To be fair, the can take whatever they throw at this us. This clearly was not a game that they had a lot of money or time for. So that is a a pretty decent These way to cut have to be Oh man, did I just do a side quest? Oh. Oh, that is yes! that is brilliant. Do we have something we could give Dimitri? Because that was good. Really good. Um, Cause Zach, you could ship him your copy of this game. Oh, you know what, Dimitri? Send me, give me your address. Yeah. All right, there Dimitri. Dimitri, Dimitri, we're gonna contact you via private message. You get this copy. <laughs> now tell me if you want me to pre-break it in half, or if you're gonna take care of that yourself. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I unlocked like some some like didn't I unlock some shadow power earlier? I don't, I don't know how to use it. You hit it with X. Wait, but isn't that my regular attack? Because they just changed they modified my regular attack. Is that what happened? Oh yeah, that's what it does. Oh, okay, well I thought it was a special thing. Oh, boy, you know what? Um, my thumb really hurts now. Right? It's very uncomfortable. Some some games try to uh, give you discomfort by making you make difficult choices, you know, more morality and all these other things. This is just like no, you, you're gonna mash the button to make it stop. I'm I'm um I'm basically playing. I failed the challenge. I'm basically a UPS guy trying to destroy FedEx packages in this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and I am no longer going to help you, Mystique, because um, I don't really feel like working for the United States Postal Service, so I'm going to go play <laughs> the rest of this really, game. Face that really odd play. question that just popped in my head. Is there a here? licensed I'm game for Gambit. that oh, you guys so. know is terrible, oh, but you me. love anyway? He'll want to see me. Oh. Sure he will. Hmm. Um, Gambit's people question. don't look very friendly. Also, you know, the would... mini-map looks like the Punisher logo right now for some reason. Oh my god, I really know <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that would... I, you wonder if like some artist was just like, yeah man, I've been doing this invitation. Or, uh, like, oh, such such great, great stuff we threw in this game. I would have uh, gosh, no, let me think about that. I feel like there are licensed games. It's a tough one, right? My, oh, my... Like the... oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I, I was going to say, mine is Strangle. <laughs> The oh, yeah. oh. sequel to Hard Boiled. The sequel to Hard Boiled. I, I, it's not a good game. 
I love it. I love it. I did buy that special edition and looked everywhere for it because it came with a Blu-ray copy of Stranglehold. Or yeah, uh, the, Boiled. the PS3 version. The PS3 version. Also, the worst looking Blu-ray ever released. <laughs> ever. Ever, and the subtitles are not properly synced. <laughs> no, so, like, not. somebody will say something and then there's, like, a five-second break before you get the subtitle. The attack? It's awful. Yeah. Um, Tom DeGossa, the Aquaman game. There's an Aquaman game? Yeah, there was. Oh, yeah, and his hair, it just flows. It's so beautiful. Got I think it. that was the Aquaman where he had the hook hand, right? That version of him? What is that for? GameCube, I think. No. That... I, I don't know. I, it's a very hallucinatory time <laughs> period in my life. <laughs> oh, you know what? You know what's really bad, and, and it, it, it even reflects even worse because of how good... Um, the Batman games are. Remember the um, GameCube exclusive Batman game, Batman Dark Tomorrow, I think it was called? Yeah, dude. That was yeah. a good game. That was not a good... What are you on? What is wrong with you? No, that game was I, awful. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of the one that's tied into the anime series. Um, oh, uh, Rise, Rise of Rise Sun Tzu? Of Zin? Rise no, of it's, Zin? Like, it's like Rise of... Um, Oh, I almost yeah. I, I, I for some reason I just mixed it up with the Art of War, the Rise of Sun Tzu. Oh guys. yeah, the Rise of Sun Tzu. That's <laughs> you know what I'm thinking of. That, that old good. chestnut. <laughs> where where am I going? Wait, I gotta bump into this poster, guys. Give me a second. Uh, the the pro oh, wait is this not a bumpable poster? Oh, uh, unfortunately not. The, the the propaganda must stand on the wall. Where where am I going? I'm going. What up. suit are you wearing now? Is I'm wearing the Pyro? this is the Colossus suit apparently. Oh okay. Why are all the suits just different colors of spandex? Like, because the game is bad. <laughs> I keep an eye. Pure Any time, I, I guess I should just stop myself. Every time I want to ask a question beginning with why, I should just yeah. stop and go, nope, nope, that's okay. That I know why. Like. Something in the way. Uh, I really like Star Wars Galaxies before the uh, combat upgrade and the, all the patching that they did to it. Star Wars Galaxies is actually one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, is it? That wasn't terrible though. It wasn't. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't. It wasn't great. I'm chasing a guy who's glowing green. I have to. I, I, I think it's because he's he has something, but I don't know if I have to chase him or kill him. He seems to be invulnerable to my attacks. Also, the helicopter in this upcoming sequence is performing some amazing feats for such a little range. This is actually an escort. You're protecting him. Oh, he's gonna be he's gonna be bummed out later. Wow. What is, why is, what is, why does the Brotherhood care so much about packages? Like, what, what is wrong with them? They have a shipping business, I guess. I guess. This is this, literally the second mission where it has something to do with a courier. And, and you totally do this one for, uh, um, the X-Men, by the way. Really? Exact same mission, yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You want to hey, this seems not good, guys. They still no. <laughs> no. no. I There's a little bit more color, at least. You've got green and red now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they really it's changed. Christmas it. They changed it up this time. Green and red. Oh boy. Susan, is there a uh, licensed game that you know is terrible that you love? It's not. No, not that I can think of. I mean, the the licensed game that I love is Cool Spot. Oh, no, but cool, uh, cool Spot's good. Yeah, it's actually a really good game. Yeah. The well, sequel was not as good. The original was really good. This came up during the podcast. Um, uh, Chronicles of Riddick is not as good as I remember it being. I feel like it's a little overrated now. Um, that was, that was... I, I went back and played it when Darkest Game came down. I thought it was still good. It, I... it looks Dated. Right. I, I liked I liked uh, Escape from Butcher Bay, but when I played Dark Athena, it just didn't have the same pop for me. I feel like. Oh well, yeah. I don't like the Dark Athena parts, yeah. but Butcher Bay, I think, is still brilliant. Butcher Bay was pretty good. So I I like Darkness. Which oh, is that's a good game. game by the same guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it's shit. Like that, that was okay. that was pretty good. Yeah, I liked Darkness, Darkness really. Two was uh, was Digital Extremes when they did Darkness Two. I thought that was that was pretty good. So the darkness was felled by long load times, though. 
Like, it was really cool how they tried to cover that by having those narrative, like, he's narrating, like, telling a story while you're on the subway to go somewhere else. But it still, it broke the pace of the game. I, I will say, I was just saying this to Faux Ben in the chat, uh, if you like uh, Chronicles of Riddick, Dark, uh, Dark Athena, or Escape from Butcher Bay, or The Darkness, try the new Wolfenstein, because it's the same guys. And yes. it's, it's very good. OG Starbreeze? It's OG Starbreeze. It's OG not. Starbreeze. It ain't brothers. Starbreeze. <laughs> <laughs> bros. It's bros. A tale of two bros. Uh, Black Mage uh, 666. Eating hearts never got old. That is entirely correct. It should have. Fires have been smuggled. Never did. The other cool thing about uh, the darkness. I remember reading this in a uh, Game Informer issue. I think is that the guy who does the voice for the the darkness, like the entity, mm -hmm. uh, they didn't filter his voice. That's just him raw voice acting. Oh, oh. That's that's uh, what's his face? Is uh is a rock star? What's his name? Yeah. Can't oh can't no no no! It's Mike. You're thinking of Mike Patton from uh, from Fake Number One. Would you do the voice of Jackie? He, yeah, he's Jackie. He's, uh, Jackie. he's Jackie, and he's Rad Spencer in White Bar by Anna <laughs> I love how that's the new title of that game. White Bar. <laughs> I love this. Look at this. The courier is just like getting to a huge battle with this wall. He's, his literal his idle animation is he's looking at a wall and he's doing fisticuffs. Don't let that courier get away. It's, I don't, it's... Well, that wall said something about his mother. It's apparently. Look how much space this this environment has. Like, there's so much there's so much room to do stuff in this environment. There's so much cool that could be included in a, a, a game about X Men. And I, it's here's thirty enemies. Go! Oh! Like that's everything that's happening. <laughs> it's such a shame because I've got the original design document for this was actually like really exciting yeah and, and well, then things happen yeah the, the whole thing was they got tied up in the process of they're trying to finish too human and it was a whole thing that led up to the litigation right well they so uh, the thing that's weird about this is that this is supposed to be their engine and not have anything to do with unreal unreal but right. i guess the court case said that that is not true. Not the case. It is not the yeah. case. That, that's why this game has actually been recalled. Also, right. uh, Two Human has been recalled. So you can't buy this in the store or digitally anywhere uh, anymore. I'm sure you can find oh, it like a used game store. But, yeah, yeah, Amazon is selling copies. Oh, they still have. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, that's interesting. They're not supposed to. It's a, they were supposed to like t uh, grab up, get all the copies. I think part of the litigation was, and maybe this is because of appeals. I think part of the litigation was that. Silicon Knights had to recall it yeah. mm -hmm. themselves and destroy it themselves. So. But Silicon Knights doesn't really even exist anymore. Yeah. I, f I feel like it only exists in name because of litigation. Uh, yeah, but, so when they tried to do that Eternal Darkness thing last year... Well, that was that precursor. That was not Silicon Knights, right? Yeah, that was... I mean, that was some people from Silicon Knights. Um, there was a studio that, they, that was established called Precursor. Um, which that team is disbanded now as well, I believe, because that um, starter failed twice. What did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you know what? That's kind of a shame because I did play that game, um, and I think people really would have liked it. Um, but I mean, and I don't want to get into a, a discussion about like Dennis Dyack or anything. And, and I know Dennis, I like I've met Dennis and I've interviewed him a bunch of times. Nice, nice guy. Um, but he sort of got wrapped in these arguments with the internet and, and with, you know, the industry itself. And that sort of backfired on him. You know, he made some comments that he shouldn't have made. And, um, but I will say that his involvement, I, and I even asked him this when I interviewed him. I said, do you think you being involved in this Kickstarter is going to hurt its chances from being funded? They didn't seem to think that it was an issue, but I seemed to think that it was an issue. And, I agree that it was an issue. And I, agree I really feel like he should not have been... I, not that he shouldn't have been involved, but he certainly shouldn't have been the public face of it. Hey, I punched this... I punched this kiosk that sells fireworks, and the fireworks went off. Interactivity from the Super Nintendo era. But yeah, it's a shame that that Precursor uh, game didn't get funded, or that they, they gave up on it, I guess. Um, if they have, it seems like they have. Because it was really cool. They had some cool ideas, and, I, and they had the passion for that project. And who are you? So, 
You don't need to know. You know, it's tough yeah, when well, you pitch whatever. something like that you as episodic. It's just not. If Gambit needs that package in a hurry. Okay. He stood up the rolls. Oh my God! Are you serious? Take it. So this entire thing of me protecting the courier has has culminated in him like turning an ankle or something and now he just gave me the package to make the delivery myself like why didn't you just i have superpowers you're a guy in a jean jacket just give me just give it to me guys and i'll make the i'll make the delivery wearing for you. the weird face thing so that we don't have to render your facial features. right i love how he looks exactly like all of the other characters i just bumped into too I know. Oh, here's Toad. So, Zav, Zav, it is Are you here to well past 5 p.m. Oh, we were having a conversation that I didn't... So you can stop now, is what you, you're saying. If what I'm saying is that if you street. would like if you think you're ready for the to big stop leaves, your torture... Way to clear out a purifier <laughs> well, can. I was going to suggest, this is awful and no one should ever play this game again, so we're, we are going to stop. However, I do have... As a palate cleanser, the Wolverine game, I thought we could throw that in for a minute or two and show people a pretty Go good X-Men yeah. game. Yeah, why not? You know what? Play a level of the first Wolverine. Like, the, the of the first good Wolverine game. Because the one for Super Nintendo and the one for NES is not, it's not good. So we're going to throw it in. Yeah. I'm on this side of the room now. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, this is our this is our fun stream, so that's why I thought maybe I could scream out loud for a second. Oh, well, sure, absolutely, yeah, screaming. I even made a splash screen for this. Actually, no, I just got wallpaper. So it says X Men Origins Wolverine. So this was tied to that really terrible X Men uh, Wolverine movie, the first one. Second one was pretty good. Did you guys watch the Wolverine? The second one is terrible. Oh my it's god! In comparison, oh, the Wolverine is really good. The Wolverine so is pretty bad. good. Oh my it's god. So boring. Are you? Uh, so <laughs> like not, the Wolverine. The Wolverine, not, I thought uh, was fun. I thought the Wolverine was fun. Smoking the, crack. Have you you're seen? Crack. But have you seen the alternate ending of that movie? It has the greatest what? scene ever, uh, where oh, he uh, yes. he I'm gets on the air. So he gets on the plane, and right. the woman that's been following him gives him a package from her father, I think, or from like the the the, the guy that whatever. And you oh, he opens it up, and it's the Wolverine mask. And the like the yellow and black yes. Wolverine mask oh. that they cut out of the movie, and apparently it was because the guy who directed that movie uh, was like, "Well, we didn't want to change any story that they were setting up for, so we had to pull that out of the movie because he doesn't wear it in any because it would have retconned." Right. Blah blah blah. But oh, it looks so good too. There's a scene you could like look for it on YouTube. It just looks so awesome. So this um, game, X Men Origins Wolverine. Um, was made by Raven, interestingly enough, who worked on the previous Wolfenstein. Uh, not the new one that just came out, but the other game. But it also has... Wolfenstein? Yeah. Uh, I think it was just called Wolfenstein, right? Yeah. I can't remember if there was a subtitle. Um, so, this game also has the greatest menu option. It says, new game, options, or review. So you could just <laughs> write the review right here if you want, guys, and... <laughs> Give it a couple stars. This feeds right into Metacritic, and you'll uh, know. If you click review, it's um, it gives you the credits and the trailer for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. I don't know why it says review, but whatever. So we're going to play this game real quick. And we're going to play it on easy, because I just want to chop through some stuff. Oh, there's story. Oh, no. Let me, let me skip story. Ow! Oh, <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> Susan! Did Zab just hit the controller so hard that he hit you? Listen. That I, is karma for me having the idea that we should play X-Men Destiny today. <laughs> this was your fault, wasn't it? It was. It was. It was. I own it. It's true. All right, Foben, I would play Return to Castle Wolverine. That is a game I would play. I would play, play that. I would because play. if it's Wolverine fighting Nazi dogs... Like you do in Wolfenstein. I, I actually, I'm pretty sure that happens in the comics too. There's a whole thing about how Wolverine was with Captain America, like fighting Nazis in World War II in the comics. So, uh, this is a game that's actually tied to a movie. I mean, it's we already like X Men in general is a licensed game, but this is tied to a movie. And immediately, just the cutscenes for this game are way better 
than anything that we've seen in the Silicon Knights game. <laughs> Although Wolverine yep. has the weirdest flowing locks ever. This game is super violent too, by the way, so if you have kids in the room, tell them to come closer. <laughs> Tell like, them to press their faces against the screen. Like, seriously, like, Wolverine just stabbed a dude through the head. Oh, alright, guys, come on, let me just skip this stuff. I want to play. And the funny thing is, is there's nothing that brutal in the X-Men Origins movie. No, in any of the movies, and also, because it's funny, in The Wolverine, he stabs people, but there's never any blood. It's never any blood, right. And th this is Hugh Jackman's face, like, it's his likeness, and it's him murdering people. <laughs> Jean Valjean Straight is just messing folks. people. He's gonna start singing any time now, I think. Oh my goodness. Doing that, that, uh, oh god, what was that Broadway show he was in? Man the, boy, Oz? the Boy from Oz. Boy from Oz. Just yes. go watch him. So, sorry, when I, when I moved to New York, it was right when The Boy from Oz was playing, and all of these commercials for it were narrated by Harvey Firestein. Oh God! And the fire steam voice. I, I apologize, but like the whole commercial was about how magical Hugh Jackman was, and it would just end with Harvey Firestein saying, "He's magical. Go and watch him." It was my favorite commercial of all time. That's fair. Oh my goodness! I'm still not playing this game, by the way, guys. Yeah, it's just <laughs> going. This is a long cutscene. I, I feel like uh, Kojima directed this. What's happening right now? This is a Dang, son. Yeah. He's messing there some is, folks up. There is some did you guys did, did you guys play this game? I didn't kill him going down. I did not. This is actually pretty it's pretty good. I've never That's what played I heard. it. Now. Yeah. Oh, I think we're about to actually get to some gameplay. Oh, here we go. It starts with you soaring through the air like a bird. You know, like all good video games, I guess. Naturally. I did like, uh, it, although X-Men Origins Wolverine the movie was oh, reprehensible in almost every way, I did like <laughs> uh, Liev Schreiber as Sabretooth. Yeah, that's, Thank good, that's, you. Good, that's good casting. That's good casting. First of all, I will show up to watch that man read the phone book. But I thought I did think he was particularly good in that movie. Um, also, Phoben made me laugh with Bub Bub Snick, Bub Snick, Snick. <laughs> <laughs> So you can cut off limbs, like there's a dude that's crawling away because I just cut off his legs. This game's already awesome! Well, it's not like he's gonna run away. Or well, you never know. Maybe his superpower is, um... Growing legs back? Growing legs back. <laughs> he's the reptile. Oh, you can grab enemies? I'm gonna grab a dude. Oh, you can just, have like, you, throw him against the ground. I have, but it was, like, 76 years ago. I've slept since then. This game is he was really like, old. <laughs> it was. It was. I feel like it was longer than three. When no, did that? I, you were three when oh. you played it. <laughs> Wait, if it was seventy-six years ago and I was three when I played it. How old do you think I am right now? Eighty-two. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm bad at math. Like every time you kill the last guy, it just goes into slow motion. This game is very dramatic. And look, every and his body is just getting destroyed. Look, he has no eye. I think he lost an eye. And then it just slowly starts to disappear, which is a pretty cool effect. So, yeah. Video games. Video games, guys. <laughs> Video <laughs> games! Uh, lunge ability? Okay, oh, yeah, I, I, under I forgot that like, you could do this. This game is, is like, really ridiculously violent, mm -hmm. but... Yes. I mean, let's be honest. If we all, if any of us had adamantium claws, this is what we'd be doing. We would just be going out and wrecking folks. I would automatically just go to a lumber yard and pretend that I knew how to be a carpenter and would just start cutting up pieces of wood with my with my hands and building. Yeah, like I would be like, well, these claws make me an expert. I don't know if I would kill people. Did everybody see the uh, the Pete Holmes sketch on Wolverine? Because no. if you ha if you haven't, you should go to YouTube and look up uh, X Men, as in like an ex employee. <laughs> okay. Spell it that way. So search X Men Wolverine, and you should do that after this video. I just like how I keep lunging. Keith Holmes is funny. I like Keith Holmes is funny. It's too bad that his show got canceled. Oh, his show got canceled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a shame. I feel like we've uh, we've probably. 
We've drifted. We've drifted. <laughs> so maybe this is, this is barely related to live stream. <laughs> this is I, yeah, well, this started as barely related to live stream. It's ending barely related to live stream. Edward scissor hands up a porch. Yes. 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 See, single and loving it understands what I'm saying. Totally. Yeah. Although I would Edward scissor hands like an ice sculpture. I think. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. They gave uh, Wolverine detective vision for some reason. Yeah, you well, gotta he have... does have heightened senses. He heck? does have, a, yeah. There is at least some narrative justification. Yeah. Although, why that helps with platforming, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> but, guys. I just uh, like how everything, when he turns it on, it just turns green. For are, some you, are you really hoping, as much as I am, that with this new generation of consoles, Uncharted style platforming goes away? The, what do you mean? The shimmy along a ledge, jump automatically to the next ledge. Shimmy along a ledge, go to the next like highlighted ledge. Even Tomb Raider didn't mask it. That I. Hard. The one thing I like about Uncharted, when it does that well, is it's more like a puzzle than a platforming. Yeah. It's not like the, yeah. the difficulty isn't from making the jump, which frankly I don't find that enjoyable in that kind of environment. Oh really? I don't. Like, the first Uncharted, it was more difficult to tell the camera angle, like, where you could jump and how you could... So I fell a lot. And it was just not fun. Mm. So, But in, like, Uncharted 2, it was more about puzzle solving. Like, how do I get to that place over there as opposed to, hey, let me time this jump really perfectly. Yeah, Cirrus 654 nailed what I want. Like, the Tomb Raider legend style platforming, where you do need to make the jump and do the puzzle aspect mm. at the same time. But that doesn't always work. I, I'm kind of curious about how Wolverine propelled himself to reach that helicopter. His skeleton is laced with, like, the heaviest metal on Earth. <laughs> he's, he's, got got really, I was, and he's got really strong thighs. He's, yeah, he's, he's been doing Zumba. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this guy set on fire? Because video games. Oh, okay. Oh, there's yeah, that's, there's that's an, because video there's games. environmental uh, kills too. You can just like impale people on spikes and stuff. It's pretty bad. This game's awesome, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if my opinion of it is colored by the fact that I just played uh, X Men Destiny for an hour and a half. Oh, God. Possible. Possible. Oh man, uh, Wolverine just went Super Saiyan. He's glowing now for some reason. It's a drink. Oh, there was the environmental kill. <laughs> it's, sometimes doing these streams is hilarious because you're seeing things in the total, like, a good 30 seconds before anyone else. It's pretty funny. Uh, I wonder, can I even pale, like, more than one? Is this, like, effectively used? Is this spike effectively used, or can I now add another person to this spike? Uh, you should be able to stack, like, at least another dude on there. Seriously, right? Like, you could totally get... Yeah. Here, let's, you could let's totally see. get one more dude on there. Oh, no, the dude disappeared. But, yeah, uh, uh, it worked out. Did Wolverine going Super Saiyan also respawn his shirt? <laughs> yep. That's part of his... <laughs> his animanium is that, uh, he will just... His regenerative powers also works with his, uh, his clothing. With a cotton poly blend. Mm hmm. Well, I think this is a soy poly blend, but we'll see. Oh, okay, nice. Um, I oh, think, it's hemp. I think there was supposed to be some. Oh, see, like I leveled up. Now you are more Wolverine. Like, what levels could you possibly do? <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations! More Wolverine unlocked! I can, uh, I can upgrade his claws. I don't know how that works. Do you, like, paint them? <laughs> Just the tips, you know, yeah, a little exactly. red, a little red. Um, oh, I have like I can get put a mutagen on. Um, I don't. None of these are, none of these are unlocked. I don't know why they gave me this prompt. All right, well, onward and upward. At any point you want to stop this, that's totally fine. With me, though. <laughs> I actually am going. I have eight, I have nine minutes left. Okay. That I that I can stick around. Because then I have to go see Godzilla with my wife. Ooh. Oh, nice. Have to. I have to. It's a date. I don't want to break a date. 
No, I'm saying you you get to. Yes. Oh. Not a have to, you get to. <laughs> well, I was I was saying have to in more of like the Emmanuel Kant kind of way. Oh, it's I a see. moral imperative. Yeah, it's okay. Susan, you you saw Godzilla. Zav, you saw Godzilla. Thoughts on Godzilla? If we're if we're continuing, I liked it. We're continuing in the barely related trend of this stream. I did. Uh, I did not enjoy it. I thought it was a uh, bad movie. Mm. I like it, but here's the thing: I the sum total of what I knew about the Godzilla movie before I went into it was Godzilla was in it, and Brian Cranston was in it. Those are those are both of those facts. both of those things I loved about it, but then yes. the movie the I, the you don't see a monster really, or you don't see Godzilla until like an hour into that movie. And I went to go watch Godzilla, not the origin story of all of the people in it. Mm -hmm. Like I understand they wanted to make they wanted to add a little bit of drama to it, but it's also drama that you've seen in every other disaster movie ever. You know what I mean? Uh, I could have used yeah. more. I could have used more Godzilla. Could have used more Brian Cranston. Could have used more Ken Watanabe. Like he's well, fantastic. that's always true. Yeah. Um, I mean, when the action's happening, it's awesome. Yeah. But I there feel like there's a, a lot of somber of moments. In that movie. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's way too many like somber moments and just like people figuring out what's going to happen. There's a lot of and also it's the guy who directed Monsters, uh, which had no budget. And he did that movie basically by himself. So he he got I think he got used to alluding to what was happening rather than showing what was happening. So there's a lot of like there's a lot of quick glances of Godzilla, but you never really get to see, well you do eventually. But like it's a lot of fleeting shots of things that just happened or at the very end of it happening, versus you actually seeing cool yeah. stuff going on at the same time. So. And that's, that is, uh, that guy, that director, whose name I can't remember now, is making a Star Wars movie now. With Gary Whitta. Woo! Oh, is that him? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Well, I mean, they, you know, Hollywood based their decision on uh, money, so that makes sense. Yeah. The yeah. movie, Godzilla's Godzilla is going crazy. Made some bank. Can we be clear that before this new era of Star Wars movies is done, I want them to finally deliver on the promise of 1983 and let David Lynch direct one of these? No. Come on. No. Great. No. Susan. No. Susan. No. Susan, it would be really good. It would be a train wreck. It would be the best. David Lynch is terrible. Oh, it would be so good. What? Oh, my God. No. I am I am so appalled right now. You have no idea. It would be raw magic. It would no. be. It would, all right. Okay. Look, I love Twin Peaks as much as the next person, <laughs> but... Let's be clear that the last time that he was allowed to direct a science fiction movie, it ended with Kyle MacLachlan pulling out Sting's heart. Oh my screen. god, that movie is so bad. Like, I will watch it every single time it comes on. Don't get me wrong. It's the best. But that movie is terrible. It's the best. It's awful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous for days. Amazing eye candy. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Oh. Kyle MacLachlan, Jedi Master, David Lynch is Star Wars. <laughs> just so much coffee in that universe, you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> so much jazz and coffee. He he does like, um, gosh, I think it's a spin class or something, or like a meditation thing here. Like you can yeah. go to David Lynch's meditation class and he teaches the class. I would do here. that. Here in LA. That. LA's a weird do city. It in a heartbeat. I yep. saw I saw um Lunderman from I guess was that what his name was from Office Space? The guy who's in Veep. At Gary Star Cole. Gary Cole. I know his real name, but I was trying to okay. give people the reference for the he was in um Do people he was not the, know Gary Cole by name? I don't know. You think they they would? I mean, people love Office Space. They love his character in Office Space. He's I the mean, guy. I, I feel like yeah. I just feel I, like yeah. He, I don't think he's a name. That, probably not. If you say lumber, lumber. Okay. You know who you're okay. talking about? Yeah. So I saw him at Starbucks, and I was just like, it sort of ruins the illusion, especially like, <laughs> especially like, because I love Veep, and he's on Veep, and it's just like I wanted to ask him everything about Veep, but I also don't want to to talk to any of these people. Also, I'm. Am I crazy, or is there supposed to be some sort of like... Oh yeah, so there's a Lost reference in this game, and I just there found is? it. There is. Oh yeah. The hatch. I just found the hatch from Lost. Oh, that's 
so weird. That's that random. Is... Why is that? If what this movie, well, this this game has a lot of yeah. Uh, yeah. This game has a lot of weird references that are tied to achievements that you could find. I, I just remember that as a huh. Okay. That is a weird thing that will date this game. Oh, okay. that's for any achievement is found. Oh, that's ah. adorable. Yeah. That's really cute. I'm so glad I bailed on Lost when I did, because I think I would have been really pissed by that whole ending. You would have been. You would have been. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. It's funny, I have friends that, uh, a friend who just stopped, uh, who just finished Battlestar Galactica. Oh, wow. And, oh, and so, to, oh. to relive the, the relive the reaction of that ending. <laughs> Which was terrible. Um, uh, I mean, it was one of those things where... I watched it, after you watch it another time, I was like, I, I kind of get what they were trying to do here. But I do agree that, oh man, there was so much wrong with that ending. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to ruin it, it for people, but you should watch so, that show, though. You can you can do the ending they did, but you need to take a lot more time. Very impatient, that ending. I just remember watching that, episode, that series and... Um, being really upset at the last season of like, why are they wasting so much time on these like storylines? Like they, they don't make any sense. There's no point to them, and it's just it felt, uh, in that last made the last episode seem super rushed. Mm. I think yep. you're you're su you're supposed to be able to change your costume in this game, but I can't find out where. <laughs> uh. So that's. Uh, I love how he's like hunched over, like he's kind of got arthritis the entire yeah. time. <laughs> Or he's really got to go. <laughs> it's really, Wolverine is having an emergency. Even when he doesn't have the claws out, he sort of has that same that same animation, which is pretty funny. Okay, I what is pretzel bread pepperoni? Because that sounds amazing. It does sound really good. Pretzel bread. You never pepperoni. had those? No. It's, I don't, I no what is that? Like a like a you know a giant pretzel you get at the mall with pepperoni on it, right? Uh, Cirrus six fifty four. I don't, I don't know. know. You lost me. Right? You well, lost me. I, don't, I don't know. It sounds good. Google Guys, I feel, I feel like we are very, very close to uh, the moment when losing our minds. this turns into a holiday weekend. Yes. Uh, this this turns into the moment where we, <laughs> where we stop being polite and start playing X-Men Destiny. Oh, God. <laughs> also, N. Goodrich is completely right. They were making that stuff up as they went. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In, no in, question. Yes, Jake. Yes. Um, but uh, but you have a date, and we're getting a little loopy. And oh wait, it's a bun, I and I cut in the bun. middle and slam some cheese in the middle and pepperoni. Oh my god. Things I, I am going that, to do. That's a heart attack <laughs> on a plate. Well, now but, we know what our man, weekends are going to be like. Wow, I want it, and I want it in my face. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. uh, yeah. So everybody, thank you for joining us for a. Uh, for a, a lackadaisical Friday afternoon <laughs> session with some really good, uh, satisfying X-Men video game action and some truly, truly nightmarish X-Men video game <laughs> action. Um, Joystick Streams will return uh, after the holiday weekend on its uh, regular schedule of Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come by on Tuesday. We're going to be hanging out with Greg Cassavan, the creative director of Transistor and Bastion from Supergiant Games. We're going to be playing Transistor uh, on that session, and uh, it'll be a really good time. So please stop by for that. Come to joystick.com for the many things that we have running right now. Uh, we have great video previews up of some stuff that's going to be at E3, of Evolve, of uh, Drive Club, and uh, we're going to have more next week um, for games that we can't legally yeah, we can't talk tell, We can't actually tell you. We actually can't tell you what they are. Video uh, so games. Video games. Video games that, that are coming out in the future! Uh, I guess? I, yeah, a few months from now. Not the far future. <laughs> But anyway, oh my uh, God, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Susan, I'm I'm so punchy. Uh, clearly, <laughs> so punchy. Funny. I know. All right, guys, uh, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Google Plus. Just go search Joystick. Use a Q, not CK, with a Q. 
And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming, everybody. Video game!